So if you guys buy the title right now, down down below, down below, down below. So you're saying that today I am going to talk about Call of Duty Black Ops 5. So guys, sit your seat belts, sit your ass down to your chair, to your phone, to whatever you're listening to me, because today we're talking about Black Ops 5. So in recent news, we found an article by Kotaku and the infamous bloody slayer Jason Schreider just just released it and just we we i was reading it it was quite a mess yes it was quite a mess why activision is doing they cutting the three-year cycle to a two-year cycle and it's real sad but why black ops 5 it's not a good idea it's a mess it's not good for the industry right now so we we like five or six months ago we got black ops 4 it released to good reviews, but in the long term, people are not happy by the game. They're not playing the game. Uh, one of my friends said, yo, I am not getting anything from this game. Like, totally honest, when you play the game, yo, I hit level 55 or I hit level 45, but I'm still not feeling it, okay? I'm still not getting, yo, I got this weapon. I got this M4, this M5. Oh, you know, I'm playing in clinic. Yo, I'm, I'm going to go prestige 25, something like shit like that. But they're not feeling it, okay? Me neither. I, uh, I, I, when I start playing the game, I get the game of the benefit of the doubt. The game was pretty cool at the first two or three weeks. Blackout was amazing. But after having the time with the game, uh, playing the game, and, you know, analyzing and all that, I went on to not plan it for like a month or two, but then I came back because, you know, one of my friends wanted to play it, but the point is, the game is not good. For the long term, what the game has offered more is microtransactions, a $25 fucking hammer. Where the fuck am I going to buy a 25 hammer? I can use those 25 for gas, a new game. Or fucking, I don't know, go to the casino and make me rich. Or fucking buy the lottery ticket. Like, what the fuck am I going to do with 25, uh, 25 uh, hammer? No, nothing. Nothing I'm going to do. So, that's why I'm coming today and talk about Black Ops 5. So, 2020 Call of Duty was canceled. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, open your ass. Call of Duty 2020 was canceled. Because uh, Raven Software and Sledgehammer Games were not working quite. They clashed so much. They didn't like so much. They were going to las galletas. If you don't know what galleta means in Spanish, that means going to the brawls, to the, to the fucking fist. So, if you don't know, Sledgehammer had a rough 2018. The founders of, the, uh, of Sledgehammer left. They left uh, uh, Sledgehammer Games thanks to Activision. And one of the founders founded uh, studios in 2K Games. And that's pretty amazing, okay? That's that's the same shit happened that we responded to Tim with Vince Ampella and Jason West. But this is real boom. Some of the developers in Sledgehammer went with him. So that means Sledgehammer has, what, half a staff or something like that that they cannot do the next Call of Duty? So Raven Software was the lead developer. Yes, that's right. So that means Raven had uh, the stick on this Call of Duty. That was first Raven. They did Modern Warfare Remaster, and I think it was amazing, but the American Transaction just killed the game, let's be honest. But... They didn't go well. They were doing uh, a good. They have a good premise that it was the Vietnam War. It was set in the Cold War. I really love that. Like Black Ops One was the best, but I didn't like the espionage and shit like that. I wanted Cold War shit. Vietnam going and I'm like hell yeah, good morning Vietnam. You know, going to like that and killing people. That's why I won on a Call of Duty game like World of War. Um, uh, Black Ops, War, uh, WW2, Call of Duty 3, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, War Type, not this p bullshit. And Call of Duty uh, 2020 uh, was having a rough time. So when Activision pulled the plug and said, yo, no, Treyarch is handling the stick, they are uh, the lead developer now, they created developer, this sounds way bad. Why I say, so they say that they're gonna take the single player, but remember, it's gonna call Call of Duty Black Ops 5, and what the fuck is that? So can Treyarch say, no, you are not using that, you're gonna create a new campaign because there's two developers, so they're gonna create a new campaign and they're just gonna develop the multiplayer. That can be a, 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 a thing, they can restructure the game and call it Black Ops 5, so 
I really don't want it to be Black Ops 5. Continue what Raven and Sledgehammer did. Yo, like, yo, you okay? You, you want to do this? Let's do this. We'll help you. Um, we're going to try and make it better. Uh, get some ideas there and there. That can be good. Do not call it Black Ops 5. Call it Call of Duty Cold Times or Call of Duty uh, Cold the Cold War. Or Call of Duty 1965. Uh, something like that. But don't do Black Ops 5. Like, many major people are not happy with this change. Only the Call of Duty cocksuckers are, are happy about this. Like, I am a Call of Duty fan. I, I really am a Call of Duty fan. But, like I said, we had to take this with a grain of salt because, like, many good Call of Duties have been bad. War, well, WW2 was a free fresh of the series. Infinite Warfare was... It was a there, like like I said, it's like taco with a saw, without sauce. And Black Ops 4 was... Like that. Really. Like, Black... Uh, Call of Duty 2020 can still be Call of Duty 2020. Even if it's cancelled. Even uh, a trailer say, yo, we're not using your... We're not using our, our, our ideas, okay? We are losing our ideas because we're still fresh. Let's do something different, okay? Let's do something more and more different. Because it will, it will be very hard to do Call of Duty Black Ops 5 in the less time they have. What Do you think they can do that on that time? Yo, these guys were three years development cycle, okay? And they're still uh, updating Black Ops 4 with all the microtransactions, all the passes like Fortnite and shit like that. This, they, they need time. They are uh, they're accustomed to make Call of Duties on a three year cycle, and for the uh, that was last week they decided that uh, that decision last week. So we're heading on a on a bad table right now. We're heading on a bad table because they need more time to develop the Call of Duty, and Call of Duty needs more time. Yo, if you need a year, take off a year. Like, yo, come on, guys, Activision, you need to let him have a year. Do the same like Assassin's Creed did. Assassin's Creed did a one-year hiatus, and Origins came out, it sell well. It got positive rave reviews, like, people loved it. And the same thing happened with the Odyssey. Odyssey um, took that year and the same as Origin, and they came out with fresh ideas. This year's Assassin's Creed, what Assassin's Creed? There's not an Assassin's Creed releasing this year. Next year is the cross-gen Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed Ragnarok because they took the year and do some digging and development and creative minds and they can bring stuff. Why cannot you take a year and make a good Call of Duty game? Like Call of Duty 2020, it will sound amazing. A Vietnam a Viet of Nam, Call of Duty Nam, that will be amazing. But like I said, it's it's really uh, surprising. We know more about next year Call of Duty than this year Call of Duty. This year Call of Duty, we're in May 19th. We're winning 20 or 21, um, and we still haven't heard a single surprising news of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4. If it is Modern Warfare 4, we have learned more than Call of Duty Mobile instead of call of duty 4 and it's really surprising like even the first week or the second week of may call of duty hub has been announced like what the fuck activision what the fuck what, what are you waiting you're not gonna release a call of duty this year are you releasing call of duty mobile did you fire every fire everybody for infinite uh, infinite ward like come on what are you doing what are you doing call uh, activision black ops 5 cannot be released next year and if it releases it will it will be in port state it will be on a critical state it will be very very unfinished and if you pull that off if you pull that off i'll be very surprised like i buy every single call of duty except infinite warfare and I really take my time and analyze the games, analyze the campaign, a co-op, and zombies, and multiplayer, and see if the game is good. The, the best Call of Duty I've played in the last five years has to be WW2. WW2, and I'm really excited. Like, really, I'm really excited to see what you got. Uh, because if it's Modern Warfare 4, I'll really, really kill myself. Like, that, that game, I really love that franchise. Because... We deserve more than what you're talking about. 
end the Black Cops franchise and start a new one. Treyarch, stop recycling ideas. So, guys, I hope you liked the video. Comment below. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, this is my show, the Rating Guy Show. Uh, I'll bring, I bring commentary, I bring news, I bring gameplay, I bring impressions, reviews, and anything you want talking about video games. I'll do some drama there and that, but I am a video game, guys. So comment below, let me know, and subscribe, people. It helped me a lot, and I'll see you next time on my video. Peace the fuck out.